What's up, YouTube? This is how to turn that ugly attic door that doesn't match your ceiling into this. All right, guys, so here we go. So we recently had some insulation put in our, um, our attic and our walls actually in our house. And long story short, the door that we had here was a piece of old drywall. So it just cracked, it was beat up, it was gone. I was actually able to find the original attic door, which is a solid piece of wood. However, as you can see in my house, you know, everything is painted white and everything is off white in different colors. So this thing just looks like an eyesore. So today I'm going to uh, spray paint it white. I don't know if I have the right color white. I don't know if I have the sand it. I don't know anything about wood. So if you're like me and you want to spray paint your attic door the right color, I hope this video helps. Let's go. So obviously the first thing you gotta do is take the door down. All right, so the first thing I decided to do in mine is to take off the weather stripping because they did give me enough uh, to reinstall it later. So I took that off here. And again, if you're looking for a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this right, I might not be your guy. I just got some material, got a, a hand sander, bought like the coarsest paper I could get, and I just started sanding. Again, my buddy told me to actually use one of his sanders, but I didn't know he had one at the time. <laughs> I already started the project, so I just went hand with the sander and hand sander and just, you know, went about it like that. All right, so the best part and fun part about this was actually getting to the painting. Uh, but all that sanding I did, I had to go ahead and wash it off first. So I did wash it off and it was a nice hot day, so I just let that dry and then I went and I am with the whole painting. Now, I started off painting incorrectly because I noticed when it flat down, the paint was just flying in the air and not really getting on the board. So luckily, <laughs> It took me a few seconds to realize that let maybe lean it on the box so I can get it right. So guys, that's basically it. I did three coats of paint. I literally did that. I went somewhere for an hour, let it dry. I came back, painted it again. Went somewhere, let it dry for an hour, came back, painted again. So I just did three coats of paint and I just let it dry one hour in between each paint. And the paint that I use, I'll link below here in the video. I don't know if I really show it on camera, but I think it was like a quick dry. It was like it dries in like, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes and you're able to move it in like two or three hours and it completely dries in 24 hours. So by that night, I was able to bring it in the house and it was no issues. All right, guys, that's basically it. 
Um, so the last thing I did was go ahead and put the weather stripping back on there. Uh, the cool thing about the people who made this with the insulation, they put the insulation on the back side. So all I had to do is throw some more insulating or weather stripping on the front just to give it a better airtight seal and um, just put it back in my attic. Um, easy to do it. I think it came out really good. I know my buddy, um, he gave me some good tips about some things I could have did to make it more flat and make it look better but i kind of did my sanding do what i had to do and you know get off my honey do list if you know what a honey do list is honey can you do this so i had to get this off my honey do list so i just do what i had to do to get it done So there's a the finished product again if you're not subscribed please subscribe I'm doing a lot of cool craft stuff right now so stay tuned <laughs>